In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to embed your Instagram posts on your WordPress website, starting off without using any plugin. To embed your Instagram posts without a plugin is super easy. All you have to do is click on the three dots on the post you want to display, then click embed. Copy the code you see here and head over to your WordPress webpage, add an HTML block and paste it here like this. And if you click on preview, you can see your Instagram post embedded on your WordPress webpage. And this is all without using any plugin. But what if you want to embed your Instagram feed? Well, without a plugin, it gets much harder. You would have to register as an app developer with Instagram and even work with lots of confusing code. This is where using a plugin like Instagram Feed Pro can help. You can purchase and download the plugin from smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link for the plugin and your license key inside your Smashballoon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, on your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click add new. Then click on upload plugin at the top. Upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro like this and click install now. Then go and click on activate plugin. And now you can see that we have Instagram Feed Pro installed and activated on our website. But before we can start embedding our Instagram feed, we first have to activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it like this and click on settings. Beside license key, enter the license key for Instagram Feed Pro from your Smash Balloon account. You can paste it here like this and click on activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our first Instagram feed. On the left hand side under Instagram feed once again, click on all feeds. Next, go and click on add new at the top. And for our first step, we'll have to decide what type of Instagram feed we want to create on our website. With Instagram feed pro, you can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you are tagged in as well. For this video, let's continue with the user timeline option that's already selected for us here, so we can go click on next. And now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click on add source. And on this step, it's asking us if our Instagram account is a personal or business account. Select the option that best matches your account. For us, it's going to be a business account for this video. Select it like this. And next, it's asking us if we've connected a Facebook account to the plugin before. Let's go and select no and proceed. Lastly, we have a button here asking us to connect with Facebook. Go ahead and click on that. This will take you into Facebook and you can see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the ones that you want to connect to your feed like this and click next. And lastly, we'll have to select Facebook page associated with our Facebook account as well. Select it like this and click next once again. And now on this screen, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or post on our behalf. So it's completely safe. Leave all these options as they are and click on done at the bottom. Next, click on OK. Once that's done, you should see the security confirmation asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Go ahead and click on yes, it's my domain. Now back inside Instagram Feed Pro, you should see all the Instagram accounts that you've connected with the plugin. Select the one that you want to display on your feed like this and click add. Your Instagram account should now show up as a source on this page here. Select it like this and click next. And for our last step, we'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of your Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, and more below. For this video, let's select the card grid template here. You can select it like this and click next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new Instagram feed in the card grid layout. You can see all the latest Instagram posts for the account we selected inside this feed. We can now go and embed this on our WordPress webpage. But before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, click on feed layout. Here you'll find several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, you can see that we have the grid layout selected, which displays your Instagram posts in rows and columns like this. Below that in the carousel layout, you can display your Instagram posts in a swipeable feed like this. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your Instagram posts in rows and columns once again, but in their original sizes. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which highlights your latest posts in a larger size on your grid like this. Continuing with the grid layout, if you look down below, you can specify the number of posts you want to display on your feed on desktop and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is select it like this and enter the number of posts you want to display. And on the live preview, you can see the change made straight away. And just below that, you can also modify the number of columns you want to display on your feed. To modify it, click on it like this and select the number of columns you want to display. And once again, that change will be made instantly inside the live preview on the right hand side. Once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette for your Instagram feed, go into color scheme under the customize tab. Currently, you can see that it's set to inherit from theme. This means that the Instagram feed will automatically match the design of your website. Next, we have a light theme, a dark theme, or you can even go with a custom theme where you can select exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. Once you're happy with the color scheme for your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to select the exact content you want to display on your Instagram feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. If you go into moderate your feed, 
and click on Enable, you have two different ways to choose the posts you want to display on your feed. Inside the Allow list, you can manually select the specific posts you want to display on your feed, just like this. Alternatively, if you go with the Block list, all the posts in your feed will be displayed by default, apart from the posts you choose to manually block, like this. We'll have this disabled for this video, and if we go back into Filters and Moderation, you can also specify keywords to hide or display certain posts containing those words. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can also choose to filter posts depending on their post types. For example, you can choose to display photos, feed videos, and Instagram Reels. So you have complete control over the posts you want to display on your Instagram feed. And if you make any changes inside Filters and Moderation, go and click on Save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram feed, let's go and embed it onto our WordPress webpage. To do this, go and click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on Add. This will take you into your WordPress webpage and to embed our feed, we have two different options. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll see your preview of your new Instagram feed directly inside your web page. Let's now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on a live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, you can see that Instagram feed that we just created. If one of your website visitors wants to click on one of these posts, it will open up that post inside this lightbox view where it displays the post caption, your Instagram handle, and some of the comments on that post as well. And just above that, you also have a button to share that post or view it directly on Instagram. And if I scroll down on my Instagram feed, you'll find buttons that say load more and follow on Instagram. The follow on Instagram button will take you to your Instagram page. And if we click on load more, it will load even more posts directly inside your Instagram feed on your WordPress website. We now know how to embed an Instagram feed on your WordPress webpage, but if you want to embed it onto the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you. Here we are back inside the plugin. I've just created a new layout for Instagram feed to embed into the sidebar or footer of our website. To embed it, go and click on embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This will take you into the WordPress widgets menu. And in this video, let's embed our Instagram feed to the main sidebar of our website. To do this, we have the same two options as before. We can use a shortcode block, or we can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside the widget. Next, click on update, and let's check out what it looks like on the live web page. Now back on our live web page, in the middle, you can see that Instagram feed we created earlier in the grid layout. But on the right hand side, you'll now notice we have a second Instagram feed directly inside the sidebar. But this one is in a carousel layout, which lets you swipe through your Instagram posts like this. So you now know two different ways to embed your Instagram posts on your WordPress website. One without using a plugin, and the other by using the Instagram Feed Pro plugin. If you want to check out Instagram Feed Pro, you can click on the link in the description of this video, or visit smashballoon.com. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.